Hi everyone, welcome back to Headstart 2021. I'm Indra Neel, a documentary photographer and a visiting faculty for ISDA Parsons. Um, as you all know, photography is a major medium to generate stories out of images. And to add on, we did a workshop on the palette of black and white photography. So in this workshop, we learn how to see things in grayscale. So to know how to use black and white images, how to shoot in black and white images, you know, we didn't follow the conventional method of taking pictures in color and later putting a filter of black and white because that is not the right method to learn black and white. The method was to see things in grayscale, take photographs in monochrome so that you can understand how colors change its behavior in monochrome tones. So we did an activity. I asked students to take uh, their phone out, uh, use their phone camera and use the video mode and put the video mode into monochrome, into black and white mode. And they were asked to just simply move around their space, find the right contrast of black and whites. Now in this whole process, they can see colors through the naked eye, but along with that, they can see how the same scenario looks different in black and white in their phone. So they can learn what, they col what the, col the color they see and how the color changes its behavior in monochrome. So to give you one simple example, uh, color yellow and color blue, they are complementing color palette. They, are con they have a best contrast between each other. There are multiple other colors as well. But to give you a simple example, color yellow and blue, they're complementing color shades. But if you put them in monochrome tone, if you put them in black and white, they are no more complementing. Try that once. You can see that the, the palette looks very flat because they are, they're not contrast to each other anymore. So that's how, that's how we learn how to start observing things in black and white. And this is the right method to learn black and white color. And gradually, the moment I started observing students, you know, students did get the right contrast in their whole activity. And they could manage to get some really, really beautiful images of black and white, you know. And the moment I found it like, you know, now we have got the right catch to start observing things in black and white. They could see things in contrast level. They could complement black and whites and grays. Then we started constructing a good shot. Then we started constructing a photograph that creates some meaning out of it. You know, and that's where we landed to a picture where uh, you eliminate things in your photograph to make your subject stand out in your picture. So the, the lessons which we learned, the lessons which students learn in this workshop was it started from first understanding how color will look in monochrome. Then we started seeing things in monochrome. Start observing things around you, how light behaves different and using light and shadow, how black and white behaves in their own way. Then we started constructing how to compose a good shot. And lastly, we, we ended up with, uh, with capturing something beautiful, which inspires them in a form of black and white. So the whole motive of this workshop was to make students believe in seeing things in black and white rather than taking pictures in color and later using some filter in post-production because that is not the right way to, to complement, to be a black and white photographer. It is about though you see things in color, but how you see those colors in tones, that's the most important thing you need to learn, you know. And that's where we, we managed to get some beautiful experience in this workshop. I hope students have started enjoying the palette of black and white now. And uh, it was a different process. It was a different method. And I believe that if you follow this method, students will really get an understanding of black and white in its own way. And um, I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining us. And I really appreciate for all the efforts you guys have put up in this workshop to make it a big success. And uh, thank you so much. Stay creative and cheers to all.